everyone and welcome to Saturday. How are we all doing today? It's another one of those wet, horrible, miserable days out there. It's absolutely tipping down with rain. I think it's going to be one of those days where it's just going to constantly rain all day. I don't think tomorrow's going to be too bad. I think it's going to be more dry spells than wet spells, so to speak. But it's a bit annoying, you know, because obviously today's my mum and dad's wedding anniversary. They've been married 45 years today. Then that's obviously where it's going to have a family barbecue outside because we haven't really had a proper family like barbecue like that for ages we thought the nice time to do it but it's actually kind of a barbecue in the rain so we're going to try and do that now next week because from what i can get i think temperatures are getting a bit better from wednesday thursday on with a bit more summery but saying that though it's not cold but it feels really really muggy and horrible again the of the rain's going to make it worse or pull it down but just have to wait and see what happens from there so yeah so so we're going to go down to mum and dad's so for this barbecue not too quite sure we're still going to go down later on this afternoon i've got their card and their present for them but then again um see so wants to try and get some of these these units up because obviously we ordered a whole new new units from amazon and tell you what they're really really good quality especially the tv units so steve needs to fix that it's also got like some a big massive DVD unit which come yesterday which is great but obviously didn't get around to print up so I think I want to do that as well today so definitely there's jobs to do on the house I think so I know even Sam wants to go down to wants to go down to mum's bless him we're so looking forward to having this, this barbecue anyway yes yeah, so it feels like I've been up for hours to be honest with you Ben was up at quarter to five quarter yeah quarter to five Ben woke up this morning didn't woke him up I really really did not know and unfortunately, when Ben's awake, that's it. He can't just lay in bed or nothing like that. We can with Sammy. He won't even lay in bed in the morning. He's watching his telly. Because obviously, when he's up, that's it. Yes, he wants to be downstairs. But then he'll lay in bed at night watching his telly. So, but bless him, yeah. He's so happy in the minute. If I turn you around, so he's doing. So, yeah, bless him. He's actually playing with his sensory lights. He asked him on this morning. Oh, well, no, you're not. You're playing with your bus. Well, he's playing with his bus there, bless him. But he asked for his lights on. So, anyway, yes, I need to get him dressed. I was supposed to have a bit of a nappy leak, but so we say there's a lot of medication as well. So, so yeah, so um, come and join us for Saturday. See, Stephen's just putting their DVD unit together. Sam, are you helping or are you supervising or are you hindering? He's telling me where to put it out. Who is he? Yeah. How pleasant. So, yeah, so it looks like it's going to be like a decent size actually, as well, isn't it? It's 310 DVDs, isn't it? Does it? Like enough for your wrestling, do you think? <laughs> Hey, Bob, be the Blu-rays. What, darling? Might be the Blu-rays, Bob, I don't put Blu-rays or DVDs. I have to wait and see what we do when we put it back together again, aren't we? Don't know the boxes. I'd have boxes, it probably won't go on there, would they? Mm. But it's, so it wasn't <laughs> too bad for the try, price as well. I'm trying to get on the shelf. Um, how much was it? 80 something, 80 something, wasn't it? 79 quid. Oh, yes, I might say 80 pounds. So, yes, like I said, we probably need, don't need about three or four more of these, you know what I mean? Mm, at least Amazon, you can get them from. You can actually, can't you? Steve's got a poorly arm there, so he hurt himself at work. Didn't you, darling? Mm -hmm. yeah, Bless it him. It wasn't my fault. It wasn't your fault, was it? So, anyway, let's leave Steve to carry on doing this. That's how they're getting on with this DVD unit, and they've practically finished it. It's not too bad, actually, is it? It's all right. So, what have you got to do, Major and. Hmm? Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's good. They're all just all shelf things, isn't it? <laughs> no, didn't go well. You got to go down one. So yeah, uh, that's probably good. I suppose you can. I suppose if you want to use them for Blu-rays or something like that, I suppose, or even I suppose you could always use CDs in there as well, couldn't you? Yeah. So we've got. Uh, so where's it going? It's going to go in that corner. Is it where the uh, sofa is? I'm not moving the sofa today. I'm not moving the sofa today. That's why it's going to go in this. That's why it's going to go, isn't it? Mm -hmm. In there, yeah. You know what? That unit looks nicer, actually, doesn't it? Mm. Look, instead of moving all the hassle and moving all the um, sofas and stuff and put it back in that corner, why well, won't just keep it there? Mm. You know, you could do, couldn't you? you need to organise your shelves. So I need to organise all my shelves and stuff. You can see they're all over the place now. They're all over the place. They are all over the place, aren't they? Because so, with me, I like to keep my all my. Like Clex, like what's it like? My collection, obviously, it's all Clex, but collection, I mean, like, I keep all the DVDs together. I know I kept all them together, I, I, but even like all my four kegs were all mixed up, and all my um, still books. <laughs> what's that, Ben? Where are you going, darling? You're after a biscuit. You're after a biscuit. Go on, then. I'll be careful, you don't drop it. Is it raining again? Is it gone then? Have your biscuit. Which one do you want? You've got a nice full tub. Only one. How many are we picking? He's picked two. 
They're your favourite, aren't they? Those they're like the shortbread ones, aren't they? Go on then. Back in the living room, so tight. Days it rains. You can't go back, can't you? Trampoline. So on there. Do you want to put your wrestling ones on? Put or don't put my um Disney ones on there. Mm. I don't know. Do you think all your Disney? Do you think all your wrestling ones will fit on there, though? More. You got more you wrestling, haven't you? Yeah. So I'm going to have to put my dizzy on there if you want to. And you can put your wrestling on here. Okay, I'm going to start putting them on there then. Yeah, I might as well. See, my Disney collection fits quite nice on that shelf, doesn't it? I'll say the shelf this year, that. Um, only problem is, at the bottom here, you can see the DVDs that fit in there properly, so I had to lay them down. But apart from that, they're absolutely fine. Obviously, I need to give it a good sort out in a week, so I've just put everything together on here. No, no, it's going to be nice actually having them all together, not going to be higgledy piggledy really. So I'm not too quite sure what Steve's putting on there, putting on your wrestling collection on there or? I want to find time during the week where I can organise this room, where I can get it straight. Exactly, yeah. So mm. anyway, it's like you're watching cars, aren't we Ben? There's some... Um, he's probably tired from waking up early. He's probably tired from waking up early. Like I said, he's been up since quarter yeah, quarter to five. So I don't know if the alarm clock was seen got up at half four waking up, I really do not know. But you know what, my darling? We saw Nanny and Papi, didn't we? They came up to see us this afternoon, didn't they? Yeah! Yeah, Nanny and Papi came up, didn't they? Mummy. You like seeing fine. Nanny and Papi? What if I miss? What if I miss? What if I miss? Oh, cool runnings. Mm. Okay, I love this film. About the, oh, the, um, they wanted to become the first ever Jamaican box case, Bob Slate team, didn't they? This one. It's got Kerr. What's his name in there? I can't remember his name in now. What's his name in this one? Oh, you know it's got John Candy, but I can't think of the person's name on that, so anyway, to stick that down there. Like I said, we'll get some good sort out in a week when the kids are at school. And I can do it in peace. Oh, Ben, you've done it again, haven't you? You've actually broken another pole. Obviously, we've tried to fix one. It's just this one here, obviously, where you can see where the gap was in. They actually broke that one. Okay, this is one Stephen replaced. Well, so this is one he made up. So it's actually broke, it's actually broke this pole here. This is actually a new pole that's actually broke. Ben, we can't get you any new poles anywhere. And you keep breaking the poles. You keep breaking poles, you won't go out on your trampoline anymore, will ya? You don't care though, do you? All you care about is bouncing. So yeah, so I think, have I got a feeling next couple of weeks he'll be searching for a new trampoline for him because again, obviously you need to put, it's 80 quid just for the poles alone. Because obviously they're coming packs of eight. And even the, um, the net, not the netting, but the thing around here, like the bounce wrap around the map thing, wherever it is. Even that one's actually broken now. So, again, we've done all this damage in 12 weeks. It's just scary. The fact of the matter is, again, when we first flew from September, he won't go nowhere near it. And obviously, he had that cedar back, and his first cedar back in March after five years. And after that, he's been on ever since. So, again, it's had constant use for 12 weeks, but I expect it to last longer than what it did, really. But I suppose you get what you pay for there, don't you, as well? So there's no way we can afford 800 quid for a plum trampoline. But then again, they are really, really great. And maybe not being nasty, we might need to invest in one that big, especially if it's going to be on it. It's going to take the constant use of Ben and things like that. So, yes, Ben, what are we going to do with you, eh? Well, then, it looks like Cheryl's strawberry plant is uh, coming up trumps again. It's gone crazy! No, she's got some down here on this other one, but you know, they're too low to the ground. They're too low to the ground. I noticed that they've been eating, they start to be eating, so I let the birds eat them. I'm going to feed the birds, so to speak. Yeah. Look, there's loads these, of them. These ones will get bigger, won't they? Yeah, they'll get bigger, yeah. Tell you what, I do wish when we put them, when we you bought them. You put them in a pot like that. I wish I put them in a the pot like that. I can't do that, it's too late now. The thing is, they're not too, they're not too bad actually. So I've lost count and I'm sure we've got off this plant. Mm. Last year we didn't seem to get hardly any. Mm. But this year they seem to grow all the time. Then they've got loads. <laughs> Just every day come out. Oh look, more strawberries, more strawberries. I think it's least it says buying them from the shops, I suppose. But yeah. I tell you what, I bet they make good smoothies. Should put them in a smoothie. I will put them in a smoothie actually. Yeah, that's it. So because I'll do see these ones here been eating. Yeah. Well then guys, it brings Saturday's vlog to a close and as you can see Ben's it's been on that trampoline now for at least the last two hours. He's uh, started to bend one of the other poles again, so just can't get the poles for love nor money. Atlantic trampolines just have not got them in stock. 
I don't know if this is a, not a supply issue or a nationwide shortage again of some things. And believe me, there is getting to be quite a lot of nationwide shortages of things at the moment. Yeah, I think if you get on the block, it's passing that. Like, no. You see, it's laying down on his trampoline, looking at the sky, looking for the clouds. I remember when I was probably about, probably about Ben's age, when I was younger, I used to lay on the, you know, when we did that, they slept a nice sunny day, cloudy, to lay on the grass, look at the clouds, and look at the clouds. Do you remember that? Yeah, you used to get um, covered in ants. Yes, probably. <laughs> Yeah, anyway guys, yeah. So, so this is happy. Yeah, it's 80 quid for a new set of poles and that's just the poles on their own. If he breaks the net, then that's another 50 quid as well. And you know, it'll get to the point where it'll just be cheaper to buy a new trampoline, but these are coming up around like six, 700 quid at the moment, aren't they? The thing is, because of his size, he needs a 14 foot trampoline. Yeah. And especially when Sam goes on it, so often they both go on it together, it needs to be that size for both of them really. Yeah, because it's 14 foot, um, so like I said before, look for a plumber, the 800 quid for a plumber, you know what I mean? It's just it's crazy prices, prices. It? it's because they're made overseas and they're having, you know, all these issues with everything so. else at the moment. Anyway, guys, yep, that does Saturday, yep, don't forget England tonight, hopefully we'll get through, and it's looking like Denmark at the minute, but Czech Republic have just scored. I have let's, good. let's go and have a look, see what the score is at the moment. It's 2-1 to Denmark. Unless Czech Republic score again. Yeah. Anyway guys, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow for Sunday. Bye. Bye. Oh, one thing before we go, because obviously we're still having a few issues with our comments and things like that. We, what we thought about doing was, because we can't interact with you with the comments like we love to do and that sort of thing, we do read them every day, don't we? Mm. So we thought maybe twice a week when our vlogs go live at 5pm, we'll make it a premiere, so that way we can chat with you in the comments as well. So comment down below if you'd definitely be interested in that, because again, we'll be happy to, won't we? Because so we do really miss interacting with you. And also we were thinking about doing a couple of lives as well, wasn't we? If we can. If we can, obviously, don't depend on Ben. Anyway, hope you've all had a lovely Saturday, and then we'll see you tomorrow at 5pm for Sunday. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone.